Welcome to our lecture online. Now to make sure that we understand the difference, we're going to compare these two examples right here. And the question is, are they the same? And by doing the exercise, we're going to find out whether or not these two expressions mean the very same thing. Now let's start with the one on the right. And we've done a couple of those now already, so we know that we need to use the rule starting from left to right. We're going to rewrite this now as 4 divided by 8 multiply times the inverse of that, which is 7 over 21, multiply times the inverse of that, which is 5 over 3. And now let's go ahead and work this down to the simplest form. So uh, let's see, this can be written as 4 times 7 times 5 as a numerator, divided by, well, 8 can be written as 2 times 4, 21 can be written as 3 times 7, then we have a 3 here. Now let's simplify it as much as possible. The 4 and the 4 cancel out. The 7 and the 7. It looks like that's all we can simplify. So what do we have left? In the numerator, 1 times 1 times 5. Divided by the denominator, 2 times 3 is 6 times 3, which is 18. And that's the simplified form of that expression. Now let's do what we have. Let's figure out what this is equal to on the right, on the left side, to see if they're the same or not. Now the rule says that we have to work everything out in parentheses first before we do anything else. So let's go ahead and simplify this portion. So this can be written as 4 over 8 divided by 21 over 7 times 5 over 3. And then of course we can simplify this by writing this as 4 over 8 divided by 21 can be written as 3 times 7 times 5 divided by 7 times 3. And so that can be simplified. The 7s cancel out, and so do the 3s. And so we're left with 4 over 8 divided by, and that becomes 5 over 1. Now we can go ahead and simplify this by first making that into a multiplication. 4 over 8 times 1 over 5. And then you can see that the 4 and the 8 cancel out, so the 4 becomes 1, the 8 becomes a 2, and this is equal to 1 divided by 10. Notice we get a very different result. We notice that they are not the same. So, which means is, if you take this first symbol, make it into multiplication by turning everything else around, taking the inverse of that, that won't work. You have to work it systematically, either this way when there's no parentheses, or work out what's inside the parentheses first before you get the final result. And that is how that's done.